Another great story from this year is from one of the um, older sponsored children that will be graduating out of the program this year, and this happens to be Clifford, um, Catherine Rochelle, sponsored child. And he should be able to get out of 13th grade this year if he passes the, the national exam, which is pretty challenging. Only 20% of the population ever actually passes this exam and actually receives a high school diploma equivalency in the United States. Well, Hope for Haiti's Children has a secondary program called PACES, Promising Adults Continuing Education Scholarship. And what this is is for um, people to increase the amount they pay monthly as part of a child sponsorship, but you're now sponsoring an adult to go to college. And it's really not a, a horrendous amount of money. For about $100 a month, you can send a Haitian to college. And some of them choose a trade school like um, carpentry. Some of them use um, computers, some of them actually go to nursing school, and there's even one that's enrolled with the University of Notre Dame and she's becoming um, a physician. So the possibilities are endless for these Haitians if you just give them the hope to go. And so when I was talking to Clifford about it, he didn't have any idea about what PACES was about, and so I was able to pull out um, Johnny Lane, who is currently in the PACES program but also employed for Hope for Haiti's Children. and he was able to explain to him, you know, in Creole, what the program's about and what um, I was willing to do and what I could, you know, work with Catherine in doing for him if he was interested in doing it. But it's a big commitment. It's a commitment for the sponsor as well because it's at least a three-year commitment. But for them, this will change his life and this will change his entire family if he were able to actually graduate from college. That's less than 2% of all Haitians actually graduate from college. So this makes a, ma a big difference. And on the day that I was talking to him about it, um, apparently it was his birthday, and I didn't even really look closely at his paperwork, but he was smiling from ear to ear, and um, through an interpreter, he told me it's the greatest birthday present ever, and together we will do this. And it was amazing.